guys, Sammy Hitzke here. Today I'm going to show you how to slow pitch. Now, slow pitch jigging, it's a pretty specialised form of jigging. And it's one of those great techniques for targeting uh, all your predatory reef species. So anything that'll eat bait or a live bait is going to smash a slow pitch jig. Now, slow pitch jigs are uh, different to your normal jig. They're actually centre weighted. So all the weight is in the middle of the jig here. So when you flick that jig up, it actually flutters down. And that what make, that's what makes it so attractive to, uh, to all the predatory species. Now this one here, you can see I've spiced it up with a little assist skirt there, and that glows in the dark as well. Something that the fish really seem to like. But I'm going to drop this to the bottom, I'm going to see if we can't get a few fish and show you guys how to do it along the way. So you'll see what I'm doing while I'm free spooling this reel, I'm actually lightly thumbing it here. Because that centre weighted jig will flutter down like this, if you don't feather the line down, it'll actually flutter the whole way down and sink really slowly. So by slightly tensioning it, it'll actually uh, sink tail down and go a lot quicker. So make sure you do that, otherwise you're going to have a very slow sinking jig. Okay, so I'm on the bottom now. I'm going to show you two types of retrieves. One's called the long fall and one's called the short fall. Now you can do both of these with a spin rod as well. I prefer using an overhead, it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more lightweight and uh, I find it very easy to use. So long fall, you need long high lifts and also a wind at the same time. So it's going to slowly stage your, your, your jig up through the water column uh, as it flutters back down. And you've got to really watch your line on the sink because the flutter on the drop is when you get the majority of hits. So this is the long fall technique. Watch it sink. Flutter down, flutter down, flutter down. Now, when you do the short fall technique, you just do very similar action, but it's only small little movements of the rod. So you're really just making the jig dance around, flip onto its side and flutter around. So this is short fall. So I'm really using the action of the rod. This is a specialized slow jigging rod. I'm really using the action of the rod to help me work that jig. Uh, these rods are designed to work jigs, not so much for fighting fish from pulling really hard, but more so to work that jig correctly and make sure it has the correct action. Now in terms of jig weight, I found I usually go one gram per meter. So we're in 100 and 130 meters at the moment. And I've got a 135 gram jig on. Obviously, if there's a bit more current, you want to use a heavier jig just to make sure you get to the bottom. But that's pretty well the ins and outs, guys. We're, uh, we're marking a few fish here, so we're going to chuck the jigs down and see if we can't get connected to one for you. Stay tuned. Just like that. <laughs> Only a little tucker. 